What's up guys? We're out here at the Great American Outdoor Show 2018, booth 4120, sitting next to Jeff, one of the owners of Antler Grow. And uh, Antler Grow is a micro nutritional mineral that can be sprayed on anything green and growing. So we're holding Antler Grow right now. Uh, Jeff is going to run through and give you a description of basically what micronutrition is. And we got different brands here for the agricultural side, home and garden, and also the deer. You know, and all wildlife uh, side of things as well. Yeah. So this is your antler grow here. So basically, what is this? Antler grow is a micronutrition mineral that plants ingest. People don't realize that we're a micronutrition company, and what that means is you have different brands for different walks of life. You know, agriculture side is what we're really big in. Uh, the home and garden side, that people don't know us from, from the hunting side. So each brand is different, and this is the first time we've actually had all the brands together in one yeah. in one building in one room. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of uh, buyer shows where people know us from that, but they don't. You know, the public doesn't know that we're all the same company. You know, and it's kind of cool to be able to bring the agriculture side and the home and garden side all under one roof you know yeah, absolutely but micronutrition is basically the essence of all life when it comes to plants you know in the agriculture side it's more bushels per acre um, and in the cattle side is the digestible proteins and in the deer side it's the same thing as digestible proteins and we're legal in states you can't use mineral um, because we have an agricultural license in each state with the agriculture side and so it just made sense to be able to have everything carried together you know for each walk of life, no matter what it is. You know, each blend is a little different than the next, you know, being more species specific for what you're doing, you know, but I mean, it, for the public to be able to have something that does five acres, right, $14 an acre, yeah. you know, on natural browse, especially which we preach as a natural, you know, backbone of all deer herds, but it's just, it's amazing to be able to do this. We're the only ones in the country to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the only ones that have a micronutrition package for the home homeowner for the home garden right. you know their vegetables their grasses their their flowers and all that I mean then we also have fertilizer you know the, the NPK um, but you can use that standalone for certain times of the year for certain things and then you can also mix it together with any of our micronutrition packages so it's all blends together and you know it's kind of unique in how it does everything you know yeah and it took us years to do this you know it's 16, 17 years we've been doing the same thing, right. but the, to get to the public, all the legalities to do that took so long, and you know, it's uh, one thing led to another, but that way you can have it for everybody across the whole playing field. Now this is this is one gallon, this will do five acres. It does five acres. 120 gallons of water. Yes. And it comes out to like $14 an acre. $14 an acre. Now the home and garden side of things, it's, we launched what, last year? Or this year? Yeah, the, actually for the public this year. This year. It's called Farmer's Touch. Farmer's Touch. So what can Farmer's Touch, what can the homeowner use Farmer's Touch on? Well, like this is Farmer's Touch right here. You know, you can see the package. This one four ounce bottle does 10,000 square feet. I mean, it's just unheard of. It's 100% micronutrition. Um, you know, you, it's, it's, it's different, but you could use it on anything. When I say anything, anything. You're, you're, it's just a little mist bottle, you know, uh, with no runoff, no waste. You know, the plants absorb it. it. People look at it the first time they use this stuff, they just miss a little penny like you didn't do anything. Two weeks later, like, what the heck did you do? Yeah. You know, I can't believe this. Look at the growth. Look at this. My my fruit holds longer. I have bigger tomatoes. I have my, my plants are bigger. You know, and that's just for the for the you know the agriculture side, you know, the garden side. And then when you get to the growing of the flowers, like your your flowers are bigger. They hold longer. I mean, we have blooms that'll hold for two or three months longer than what they would do in the past because the plant is as healthy as it can be, so it's going to show its full potential. And when you say anything green and growing for the home for the micronutrition. Yes. Fruit trees? Fruit trees, apple vegetables. trees, orange trees, vegetables, grasses, ornamentals, uh, all your flowering, uh, your, your roses, your hibiscus. I mean, every, it depends on where you are in the country. Everything that you could possibly think of. Green and growing. Green and growing. It covers all the bases. And it lasts in there for months. Months. So months. You only have to spray like every two months? Yes. Every month and a half, something like that. Well, we were talking to, uh, on the agriculture side, you don't want to jump around, but on the agriculture side, we we're talking to tell last night and we sprayed his place two years ago two years ago and they're still getting extra cuts out of their haylage for their cattle two years with one spray now they, they, they believe in green manure they don't use any fertilizers whatsoever because um, there's all beef fed cattle you know where we can do that on those places because it's organic you know it's organic it's green you know it's all that it's all minerals taken out of the ground made readily available through a patented process of crystal technology um, 
which is turning solid into a liquid. That plant's actually ingest. You know, uh, but to see that and then home and garden, we, we, we like to keep this a half ounce per gallon of water on the farmer's touch, but it's a half ounce, so this does 10,000 square feet, this does eight gallons of water. You know, it's pretty cool on how it works, but um, the little bit goes a long way, but you want it to do it every four to six weeks, what we say on the home and garden side, because the plant is burning that fuel. You know, and micronutrition is plant fuel, for the lack of better words. Right. You know, you put fuel in your truck, you go somewhere, you have to put fuel in the truck to get home. Well, plant is no different. You know, and the plant doesn't get the nutrients out of the soil because they're lacking. Right. With every time that plant grows, it's sucked it more out and more out. And then you get the runoff of the rain with all the nutrients oh, going away. Yeah. So there's nothing there for the plant. It just sits there and just kind of sustains itself. Right. It doesn't do anything, you know? And we have a bottle of the uh, MPK. This is something else that it's very exciting to me. Um, they just came out with this year. This is Farmer's Touch. Farmer's, Farmer's Touch. MPK. MP MPK. How can they use this? This is a this is a boiler spray fertilizer. Completely it's, different from micronutrition. Yes, this is a hundred percent fertilizer. It's a 513A. And uh, we have actually have two sides of it. One side is for the home and garden, and then the other side is for the three sides of it. One side is for the home and garden, one side is for the for the agriculture side, and then the other side for the hunting side. The hunting side, we've actually enhanced it with plant natural plant extract, mm -hmm. which actually sweetens the plant like it's three days after a frost. Right. You know how when it frosts, you know, you, all the sugars, the, you know, the carbon, all that comes up through the leaves, through the roots, up to the leaves, and makes that much more palatable, you know, more attractive. Mm -hmm. Well, we've done that with this fertilizer where we can go spray this with the micronutrition or without, you know, for certain times of the year and make that a lot more attractive. You know, you're adding the mineral, now you're adding the sweetness and all that. Another thing too is the reason that we're a 513 is phosphorus is what's needed for antler development and stuff like that. So like on our first spring, spring spray, in uh, say you know whatever time you know right. April, April May, May June yeah. whatever that you go spray and earlier the better in that first flush and you're adding all that phosphorus to the, and those plants that jump up but the those and the bucks need that for lactation for the horn development so you're adding all the mineral plus the high phosphorus from what you already have and you do the analysis test you know and people love doing analysis they want to know I'm so tired of junk and so tired of you know just stuff that they go okay whatever but that's why you try and keep it so affordable, you know, that anybody can do it. And you don't need a food plug. No, and it doesn't matter. I mean, I like it because you can use it on an acre property. Yes. All the way up to Whatever. End, endless amounts of endless. property. I and mean, we, you know, on the agriculture side, we use helicopters. We use, right. you know, tractors with 100-foot booms. You know, and we can knock out two or 3,000 acres in a day. Yeah. You know, but for the average person, they got an acre, they got 10 acres, they got 20 acres. And like us, you know, we hunt small pieces of property too. And we, we you can benefit a lot of things in a small area, awesome. you know, and then it attracts, you know, because of the palatability and the, you know, it's the plant tail. Right. And that's what we believe is giving the nutrition through the plants, which feeds the animals right. all the way around the corner. Because this is, this is, this is what they eat on a daily basis. Every day. Natural browse. Every day. Every single day they need Every like single five, day. Five, six, seven pounds. <laughs> natural browse. Everything. The foilage, yep, yeah, yeah. the foilage, yep, and look, you go cut the crops, the corn, the soybeans, all that, you know, you got millions of acres throughout the country just got cut, right. so now where the deer eat, they don't take six months off, right. you know, they, they eat the natural browse, briars, briars woody, everything, woody browse, woody browse, everything, everything, that's another thing too, you just mentioned woody browse, you know, say the leaves fall off in the fall and winter, you know, now that woody browse, you know, the, the, all the bushes and everything, all that nutrition is locked into those plants for months, yes, it never falls out, so it goes through the folder spray, goes down to the roots, comes back up, comes goes down, comes back up. And the reason that you spray so much, so often is because as it goes down, it comes back up, and the plant shows its potential, you know, its, its growth. It's burning that up, so you need to add it back to it. And it can last longer in yes. there as well. So if you start spraying in the spring and summer, yes. every two months, and then now all of a sudden you're into the fall, that nutrition is built up in that plant, the stem, the yes. root, and everything. Yes. And get it through into the winter. What we found in all of our analysis tests we've done is a lot. most of the time when the, the, the soil is lacking the mineral, the plant's lacking in the nutrients and all that, the first spray, you can actually get a diluted number. Okay. You know, because that plant is like, hey, man, I just got, I just got to fill up on fuel. I'm going to, you know, he, he blows up. You know, so those numbers get weighed out. But the second spray, you get those numbers and they stay there for longer periods of time, right. like you just said. Right. And then the third spray, fourth spray, you only got to spray it half a dozen times a year. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a benefit for the entire year. You know, three or four times a year. You know, it's, it's crazy. Awesome, guys. So if you want to come out to the Great American Outdoor Show, stop by Booth 4120.
Any questions on here, guys? What's the shelf life? What's yes, the shelf? you can have that, yes. Shelf life. Shelf life, there is no shelf life, guys. It doesn't freeze either. It does not freeze, does not fall out of solution. 100% of the micronutrients, no matter what package, has zero shelf life. We've had stuff on the shelf for years. We've put it in freezers, we've done everything. I remember you did it last year, you did a test. Got down like 17 degrees. Yeah, and you, I mean, you can see it on YouTube yeah. or on his Facebook didn't page here. Yeah, it didn't freeze. And, you know, it's, we were tired of junk. You know, so we, when we went to the drawing board 16, 17 years ago, we wanted to have the best we could possibly have. And not only for the plants, but for the animals. Right, yeah. You can see the results. Yes. You get a plant now. How much does that I mean? It's not very expensive. Yeah, 10, 15, 10 20 bucks. bucks. And you get it depends where you go and all that thing. So yeah. some, of the, some of the places we do are 25 bucks, right. which is the highest end. Mm -hmm. But we're doing, I mean, we're doing analysis tests for everything, for digestible proteins, mineral content, you know, what we were before, what we were after. And we do that every month in some places. And, you know, we'll do it three months without spraying. We'll go, we'll just do analysis. Let's see how long we can get it to last. Right. You know, and the different ratios at different places of what you're doing, but I mean, ranchers love it, hunters love it, um, home and garden loves it. Yeah. You know, it just Every it's something that they're not that they were able to have before without an agricultural license. Yeah, yes. and this is not something that gets confusing. It's not something you dump on the ground. It is not. It's nothing you dump on the no. ground. No, it's, it covers acres and acres and acres, and it's for all wildlife. For all wildlife, Birds, turkeys, every everything benefits. Yeah. Everything. You know, everything, everything deals with browse and food plots, you know, and food plots nothing more than browse we create, you know, so it, it's pretty cool. What are the size of bottles that you can order? You have one gallon jugs, it depends what you're looking for. One gallon jugs, four ounce bottles, and we sell it in 250 gallon totes, um, and we also have four gallon cases, which if you go online, it tells you everything right there, it's self-explanatory. I believe uh, it's $79.99, for regular price for one gallon, it's always free shipping, um, and then I believe it's ten dollars off the case case price per gallon. So you get a forty dollars savings on the case price if you have a larger piece of property. And then if you want to get into the next level, two hundred fifty gallon totes, we ship those all over the country. Um, it's uh, in, in the agriculture side and, and, in, and in the large ranching side for you know for the elk, the mule deer, the, the uh, deer, you know. Uh, Okay, I'll give you a couple good examples. We deal with some people in Texas. Okay, they have protein feeders, it's high fence, you know, it's four or five thousand acres, different branches and all that. And we deal with deer growers, you know, small people that you grow deer for a living. But okay, they'll do a helicopter survey. Okay? And they'll see that buck or that this buck over here, that buck. They only see it in a helicopter survey. They never see it at all on a protein feeder. They never see it on any scenarios, they never see it the entire time except during the rut. Where is that deer getting all of its nutrition? From the browse, because they don't have any food plots. Right. They got nothing. You know, a rainy season, they're up in inches because there's more browse and all that. But what we found out by spraying acreage, not only feeding the deer, no matter where they are, whether it's free range or fence or whatever, by spraying, you're giving the plant, it sustains a drought better. The leaves are bigger, which is more tonnage per acre. Right. More tonnage. And all the nutrients are locked into those plants for long periods of time. Right. And they fight it off. They fight leaves off and when it grows back out. The nutrients come back out with that leaf. With it, yeah. Yep. And what, what, what when you spray a plant, like uh, we'll use briars, you know, blackberry bushes for, for example. When you spray a blackberry bush, briars, you know, everybody has in most places in the country. When you spray and the leaves are a certain size, you go in there. When that browse comes back, after they've nipped it off, you're gonna notice the leaves are double, if not triple the size of the original growth. You know, and that's on the deer hunting side. The rose bushes, you know, the same thing. I mean, we got rose bushes with petals that are they had pictures you sent me of roses. Four times yeah. the size of what they're, I mean, you got roses that are falling up. You know, and uh, we talked to Jeremy Hupp the other day. He said he had so many apples, they were breaking the, breaking the, branches. Breaking the branches, and he said they held for two or three months longer than normally would. I mean, they just, it blooms create fruit. The more, the, the healthier the tree, fruit production, whatever you're trying to do, creates more blooms, the more blooms, the more fruit. Right. Which is oranges and the apple and all the other stuff. So it just depends on what you're doing. But it's, it's cool to be able to cover all the bases. And most people that don't really know us, they don't understand that we are 100% micronutrition. We believe through green and growing on the deer hunting side of the cattle. You know the digestible proteins, yep. um, all that. I mean, when you when you can wean calves faster, you can add more weight to cattle for cents in a dollar, and it saves the farmer 
money because they're not doing everything that they were doing in the past. You know, it's, it's not what's traditional, what used to be done back in the day, but science has come along so far to where we can make now a bad ground into a good ground.